Los Angeles at E3 2011. We're at the Sony event and I'm joined by Chris Floyd, lead designer on the new game that they announced, Ruin. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure, thank you. So tell me a bit more about this game. It's on the PlayStation 3 as well as the PlayStation Vita. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, well it's a social action RPG. And so you know, that means it has all everything you'd expect from an action RPG. It's got lots of killing, looting, uh, you know, collecting stuff, leveling up. Uh, but it's also got something you don't see in a lot of R RPGs, something we think is new, which is that at the same time you're building up your character, you're also building up a lair, which is a, a space where you can customize and, and up that you can customize and upgrade. And that not only makes your character more powerful in combat, but it also makes the defenses of that layer stronger. And the reason you want to do that is because there's a whole social element here as well. So there's other players out there that you get matched up with, and they're your rivals. And those rivals then will be directed towards you to attack you. And the strength of your layer then determines how well you can basically fight them off. And so you want to build up your layer to not only make your character more powerful, but make, him strong, make your layer uh, better defend it and keep uh, keep all your rivals away basically. Could you tell us a bit more about the social aspects in terms of updates? Like I heard that um, you'll always be able to know what other players are doing and vice versa? Right, so we've sort of got a, a, a social interface where you can get, receive messages that let you know what your other rivals are up to, what they're doing, maybe what they're building in their lair, what their latest accomplishments are. Oh, they just went off and defeated this boss or they just collected this cool item. And so you know a little bit about them all the time and then you also know when they've come come and attack you, and you got a message saying, "Hey, so and so just came and attacked you. You know, you want to do you want to go and stick it to them? You know, next." So how easy is it to jump into each other's game? Well, it's it, you're pretty much the game will direct you to do it almost as as part of the the course of your regular play. It'll just say, "Hey, you've got to go and attack a rival now." So you're you're just gonna go off and do it. And then, like say the uh, the the system then will let them know they've been attacked. Even when they're offline, you know, then then when they come back online, they'll get a message that says, "Hey, you've been attacked," and you get to, uh, you know, they get a chance to respond essentially. So the game is on both systems. Can you tell us a little bit about the differences? Obviously, the PlayStation Vita has touch controls. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah. Well, we want to use the uh, the touch controls, uh, you know, to augment the, the the standard controls, where it really enhances the the combat and the adventure elements of the game. So environmental interaction and things like that is where you touch on the on on the front screen. You know, maybe there's a chasm you have to cross, and so there's a bridge that's on the other side, and, and you you can pull it towards you with the with your finger on the touch screen, something like that, or opening chests and doors and stuff by using the uh, the touch screen. But the real uh, exciting aspect of the Vita for us again hooks into those social elements where it lets you take the game with you and kind of always be up to date on what what's going on in the game and uh, and know what other people are doing when they're doing it and being able to respond. So you guys are showing off a little gameplay portion here. So it's an action RPG. I played as a warrior. Can you talk a bit about the classes and how the game evolves? Sure. So we've got, like say, the, uh, the warrior class. Our goal with each of the classes is to really make the play styles distinctive. So of course the warrior is about getting right in things face and just crushing their skulls, right? But the uh, uh, the other class, uh, one of the other classes that we worked worked out is the assassin. He's a ranged class mainly. He's about mobility and precision strike, so he wants to stay far away, move around a lot, dodge attacks, and that sort of thing. Very different from the warrior. And then we've got another class that's planned that we're not talking about right now. All right, great. So when is the game coming out? We know it's for the PlayStation 3 as well as the PlayStation Vita. Yeah, so both will be coming out at the same time within the launch window of the Vita. Great, thank you so much for your time. Oh, my pleasure, thank you very much. And that was our first look at Ruin. Be sure to check back on GameSpot.com for more coverage.